This week on Hunt and Fool. An opportunity that I never thought would ever happen and, and it's just become a reality. It's, it's, it's a dream come true. As we come around the corner and look up on the mountainside, the most beautiful sight I've ever seen. Four big rams standing there looking at us. Join Travis Roundy as he passes off two tags in the beautiful Alaskan country for a monster doll sheep. North of the majestic Alaska Range, on the peak of the North American continent, lies ample grounds for hunting one of the most sought after big game species in the world, the doll sheep. This rugged wilderness is one of the last great American frontiers and remains a mecca for avid big game hunters. To hunt this all-inspiring terrain is an opportunity many hunters only dream of. That's why when Travis Roundy heard through Hunting Full that there was a cancellation on this coveted hunt, he immediately told Steve Barker, a longtime friend and member of Hunting Full, who had always dreamed of scouring the wilderness for the white sheep. Having grown up in the shadow of Utah's Bryce Canyon National Park, Steve is a veteran hunter who holds faith, family, and hunting above all else. He works as a wildland firefighter for the Bureau of Land Management and leapt at the opportunity to make his dream hunt a reality. Travis considered hunting alongside Steve, but having already harvested this rare species, he instead decided to hand off this opportunity to his eldest son, McLean. A young hunter who is approaching his 13th birthday, McLean is following in the footsteps of his father. Having spent his childhood trapping small game in the fields and foothills of Glendale, Utah, his first big game hunting experience came from a Sonoran mule deer hunt. So join us as two hunters from different generations embark on a once in a lifetime hunt and search the Alaska wilderness for a ram in an experience they'll never forget. Hunting encompasses every part of your life. You plan. You research. You map out every last detail. And when your drive for hunting is everything you do, you then become a hunting fool. Every hunt has a journey unique in itself. For our two featured hunters, the origin of their journey is worth noting. One of my buddies and I went on a hunt three years ago up in the Alaska range with the same outfitter that we're going with, Don Bunselmeyer and his crew, and we had such an awesome hunt. We've kind of been planning another trip up to Alaska, and we thought at first it was gonna be five or six years down the road. He came home from work one day and he said that the guy he went hunting with the first time on his doll sheep hunt said that some guy canceled on him, so we had a tag. When Travis offered this hunt to me, it just was kind of an unbelievable experience and opportunity for me. I've been dreaming about doing this since I was just a tiny kid and a doll sheep has always been an opportunity that I never thought would ever happen. And and it's just become a reality. It's, it's just a dream come true.
Upon arrival in Alaska, they take a quick stop to complete their final paperwork before resting up for the final leg of their journey, a final flight into the remote region of the Alaskan interior. sheep camp. Excited to be heading out there. Love to see this country up here. Let's get her done. For those fortunate enough to travel here, experiencing Alaska from any perspective is truly a wonder to observe but experiencing it from this type of flight is one the hunters will never forget. With not much daytime left, the team quickly sets up camp before preparing and planning for what is certainly to be a challenging first day of scouting come sunrise. Fool is brought to you by Matthews Archery. Catch us if you can. Huskama. If you're not the lead dog, the view never changes. Red Rock Precision. The ultimate long range shooting solution. And Hunt and Fool. Your complete hunting resource. This segment is brought to you by Auto Farm. Fun, simple, and transparent. Your personal guide to your next ride. Utah native Steve Barker and McLean Roundy, along with McLean's father and Steve's good friend, Travis Roundy, are deep in the Alaska mountain range in pursuit of the elusive doll sheep. Both hunters are pursuing the sheep in similar spirits the obvious passion of the hunt, and the shared adulation for the respective fathers. With a good night's rest, they're ready to hit the terrain for their first full day of scouting. Just a young sheep. It looks like he's got thin horns and he comes down and doesn't even make a full curl on the bottom of him. Go straight out. Yep, he's just kind of a. Spotting this early is a good sign, but strict regulations on legal ram specifications means Don must move the team onward. A legal sheep is determined by one of the three traits on a potential ram. One, 360 degrees of a circle is made by the tip of at least one horn. Two, tips of both horns broken or broomed. And three, an eight-year-old male as determined by counting horn rings and segments. These factors mean that careful, meticulous scouting is crucial before taking a trophy shot. We had three rams up here we spotted way up the head of this one draw. One about a half curl on about seven eighths and then we haven't got a good look at the other one yet. We went back over to the other side. So we're just gonna hang here and since the other two went to the left, we're just gonna hope he goes to the left too and we'll get a look at it. Scouting in these elements of the Alaska mountain ranges requires diligence and momentum. So searching from the right herd and ram can be a long part of the process. Patience and confidence are serving the two hunters well. Also serving them well is the support and experience of their trusted friend and father, someone who has been here before and brings a wealth of knowledge and experience. I killed my big ram just right up there in 2011. 
while we were up there taking pictures of it and caping it. There were 13 other rams that fed right about that saddle right there. One of them in that group was almost as big as mine. Brings back a lot of memories to be right here. <laughs> He'd be a good one if he was still around. It is only natural, even for the most skilled of hunters, to let the excitement and anticipation take over the need to remain resolute in the search. But for Steve, his moment could not have come at a better time. We got a ram uh, across the canyon here. We spotted it. Don's taking a look at it right now to see if it's a full girl or not, so let's see if it's legal. If it is, we'll probably scoot around this and then back up around underneath him. Hopefully we can get a shot, so we'll wait here and see what Don has to say. Well, this ram moved up on top of this knoll and laid down where he can see us. I don't know if he has seen us or not, but he could if he caught us crossing here. So we're just going to try to stay out of sight, walk away from him, and cut up underneath him. At an approximate distance of 700 yards, Don moves the team forward, working a little closer to Steve's boyhood dream. Did you know that Hunt & Fool has a database of over 400 endorsed outfitters? Each of their reputations is closely monitored by the Hunt & Fool staff, and as a result, they're able to connect each of their members with the outfitter that best matches their budget and hunt expectations, whether it's using a draw tag or a guaranteed tag. Go to HuntAndFool.com to start your search. This segment is brought to you by PhoneScope, the future of digiscoping. In the breathtaking and majestic Alaska wilderness, Don Bunselmeyer is Lee McLean Roundy and his father, along with Steve Barker, on an expedition for doll sheep. After two days of scouting filled with plenty of sightings, Don and Steve spot a legal ram and scurry up behind a ridgeline to take a shot at a lifelong dream. So Don looks over the ram and he confirms he is a shooter. I can't believe it's the moment of truth. Don arranges the ram. He confirms he's legal. He's at 572 yards and he stops broadside. The ram sees us come around the edge of the ridge. So he jumps up and starts to move uphill. We lay down and put the scope on him. There. Four forty nine. Four sixty. He's dead. Perfect shot. Oh, oh, there he goes. That's it. Good job. Thank you. Ram is down. This is unbelievable. I cannot believe I have just shot my first doll sheep. It's a dream come true. At approximately 470 yards, Steve has taken the first sheep of the hunt at the end of the first day. And with night upon them, the rest of the team joins up just in time. Well, I'm plenty happy with him. Beautiful ram. Almost 36, 37. 36 and three quarters. About 1,250 yards from us. We watched the whole story unfold, it was awesome. We drilled him straight up on the canyon. He ran into a little ravine and rolled off into the bottom of it. It was one of the most awesome shots I've ever seen. We're gonna be eating back straps about two in the morning. It is August the 10th. Uh, Don from Interior Alaska Guides put us on this beautiful sheep and we were able to harvest him with a 472 yard shot. Uh, special thanks to the Hunt and Fool for helping me get on this hunt. 
and especially Travis Roundy, he talked me into it and got me up here. And uh, we were able to take him with a Red Rock Precision Rifle, one shot, and uh, everything worked out great. So with one hunter's mission complete, the team heads back to camp with Steve's trophy, just in time to get some straps on the flames and prepare for McLean's turn on a very special day come sunrise. We're here on the second day of the hunt. We're just getting out up into the mountains. It's McLean's 13th birthday, so it's kind of a special day for him. Special day for me as his dad to be out here with him in Alaska on a doll sheep hunt. It's been quite an adventure so far. One of our buddies has taken a sheep and now it's McLean's turn, so we're heading out. Hope to make it happen tonight so that we can get a birthday ram. We're going up the canyon to see if we can find another sheep so I can kill it. It's my 13th birthday today. Hopefully we can get one killed today. A long day of searching can wear on a hunter, but even more on a young hunter anxious to get his first ram. But McLean's support from the others keep his spirits high as they head back to camp and partake in a little more of the first kill's reward. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday, dear bear. Happy birthday to you. This segment is brought to you by Scree Extreme Mountain Hunting Gear. A few days have passed since Steve's kill with the first ram of the hunt, and still no legal ram has come into play for McLean. Doubt is now creeping in. This morning we're just headed up the east side drainage to check for a big ram that we saw opening morning. Hopefully we can find him. McLean's getting a little bit discouraged today. He's wondering if there's a legal ram in this area. Saw three more bears last night. That makes six total in this area. Seems like the sheep are getting scarce and the bears are getting more plentiful. We got to make this happen today if we can. We're going up the east drainage. Um, I think we can find some doll sheep. They've been on both sides of it. Not really very big. There's only one that we can tell that's legal for sure. By returning to a previous spot in the east drainage, the team hopes to stir up a prospect they sighted days earlier. Staying steadfast in the pursuit of the right ram for McLean. So we decide not to cross the glacier and go after some rams that we'd spotted over there to get a closer look. Instead, we decide to go around the corner and check out a basin that we've never seen before. As we come around the corner and look up on the mountainside, the most beautiful sight I've ever seen, four big rams standing there looking at us. As soon as we throw the glasses up, we can tell that one of them is a big, heavy horned, older ram. Hey, he's legal. He's legal. The left one's legal. Until he stops. How far is it? Five. Here. Sure. Hold still on him. Give your best, buddy. Still up. Shoot him again. Shoot him again. Right behind the shoulder when he stops. I think he hit him that time too, but he went over the hill. I think he got him. I saw some dust kick up over there. Let's yeah. go around this point right here and we can look up there and see. 
Filled with days of anticipation, McLean and the team make their way up the steep and jagged stony slope to the moment that will make any hunter, boy or man, ecstatic. I was real excited for McLean, but also excited for his dad. I know this was a special moment for both of them. I feel pretty awesome right now. This is my first all sheep ever. Hopefully not the last. <laughs> to have McLean on this hunt has just been so awesome for me. We've had such a great time hiking these mountains and looking for the sheep and one of the most awesome, coolest experiences a dad could ever have with his son. Harvesting a doll sheep in the Alaskan wilderness would be a feat for any hunter who had the chance to do so. But it's even sweeter when it's something you've always dreamed of. For Steve Barker and McLean Roundy, two hunters at different stages in their life, tagging out on a dream animal in this rugged wilderness is a once in a lifetime occasion. Through this unique opportunity presented by Huntful, Steve and McLean were able to capitalize on their coveted tag and it was an experience they'll remember for the rest of their lives. Closed captioning is brought to you by Realtree's Family of Patterns, Family, Friends, and the Outdoors.